Good morning. This is the Val DeRibi Show. I'm broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas on a global platform. Who do I have? Uh, my name is Dr. Michael Cooney. Dr. Cooney, thank you so very much for being my guest. You are in my health and wellness segment. We have an initiative on Facebook, hashtag VBS Takeover Life, and we want to be a part of people taking over any part of their life they're not in control of. You're going to help us today. What do you know that we need to know? I also want to introduce my, uh, my co-interviewee uh, uh, today, which is, is Barbara. And Barbara can speak a lot about uh, how this has affected her life and a lot of very inspirational things that she's done to cope with this. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Barbara kind of lead off here. We'll let Barbara lead off, and then you can set the medical platform for sure. us. Barbara, hello. Good Welcome. morning. Good morning. Good morning. Barbara, tell us your story. Well, I live in Silicon Valley, and at 89, I went back to work because a firm was very interested in my background, a varied background, and I like to be called a, a conceptual designer. Uh, I work one day a week, and I go to work uh, by train, uh, either to Palo Alto or to San Francisco, and I help designers uh, and engineers co uh, do designing of products and services and attitudes about aging and low vision, which I have because I have macular degeneration. Which is a progressive disease, if I'm correct. You're correct. Okay. What a great opportunity for you. Life continues on, and I'm sure this was maybe a career before you aged into the age that you are. Yes, I was an occupational therapist for 44 years, so I, every day was a design day for me. When I worked with people who had uh, physical disabilities, and I, <coughs> excuse me, I had to find ways to help them become independent in as many ways as possible. When you, you're, you're, you're still working uh, uh, with this challenge, how do you feel? Do you feel better? Because I, I, I don't think we can stop working because something happens when you stop working. Well, you must have and maintain some positive identity. And my identity is the one who goes to work. And the reason I love going to work is because I'm working with engineers and designers who are sometimes six decades younger than I am. And I get so much energy from their enthusiasm. And it's a wonderful exchange of ideas with people who share a passion for problem solving that I have. I love that, Barbara. Barbara, thank you so much. And I'll ask the doctor. Doctor, they say that there's 11 million Americans per year that are impacted by this. Could you speak to that? Uh, that's right. Uh, you know, macular degeneration, or short of AMD, is, is a rising public health problem. And as the baby boomers age, it's going to become an increasing problem. Uh, you know, Barbara's story is truly inspirational, which is why it's a, really an honor and privilege for me to team up with her and work together on the Why I Fight campaign to raise public awareness about this growing public health issue. Let me ask you, so as we're living longer, are you guys finding more answers for us? Okay, we want to live longer, but we, 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 we need help to be healthy and vibrant to live that long life. That's exactly right. And the good news is, yes. Um, you know, we, we now understand a lot of the different risk factors for macular degeneration that one can do some things about. For example, don't smoke, uh, exercise, uh, weight loss, blood pressure control, and then nutrition, eating well, green leafy vegetables, all the things your mother wanted you to eat when you are younger that you decided not to eat. It turns out they're actually helpful for you. In fact, there's a vitamin formula that's been studied by the National Eye Institute, part of the National Institutes of Health, which has proven to help slow down the progression of macular degeneration for people who have certain levels of it. And this vitamin is called the ARIDS-2 vitamin formula, which is produced by Bausch and & Lomb. And it has become a mainstay treatment to help slow down the progression of macular degeneration. So that's a step uh, in the right direction that we've had for the past 10 years. Dr. Let me ask you a personal question. Do you ever think of like finding a cure or a new drug and winning the Nobel Peace Prize to solve some of these problems? Who doesn't, Valder? Of course. Um, you, know, I, you know, I see macular degeneration day in and day out in my office and you know, we share the same goals my patient and I, which is to keep them seen, to keep them active. And uh, you know, we're always looking for better treatments. We do not have a cure for macular degeneration. Vitamins are not a cure, they help slow progression. 
For people who have more advanced macular degeneration, what we call the wet form, uh, there are medicines that are, are FDA approved which actually help slow down the progression of that disease and in some cases can actually result in some improvement in vision. But I think the, the clear message is really that we, we are trying to slow down the progression of a disease that we are yet to find a cure for. All right, if I could go back to Elizabeth, and I want to give you the final word, Elizabeth. What advice would you give us as we age? Because my audience is made up of baby boomers, so there's people coming into that age group. What advice would you give us if you could give us anything? I'd tell them to stay vertical and moving forward. <laughs> I, that's the best advice I've heard in a long time, Elizabeth. I wish you the best that life has to offer. Doctor, once again, where can my, my um, audience find out more information about macular degeneration on the web? There's a great website, joyofsight.com, which has a wealth of additional information on AMD, as well as the Why I Fight campaign uh, for raising public awareness. I want to thank you guys both, Elizabeth and you, Doctor, for coming on and talking about something that... I'm sure we'll be talking about a little bit more, so please come back. Thank you very much, and keep stay vertical, Elizabeth. Thank you very much for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you, Valder.